What's up guys, the Rayman Photos and we are back again today with another hardware review. Today we are looking at the Pandora MTL RDA, RTA, sorry, from Yach Vape or Yat Vape, Yach Vape, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, start having decent names so we can pronounce them. We're going to drop on the down, we'll take a look around it, we'll see what comes in the box and then we'll come back up and I'll tell you exactly what I think. See you in a minute. <music> So, the Pandora MTL from Yokarape. We're not going to say that name too many times because I ain't quite sure how they're calling this. So, uh, let's have a toot. Right, so first off, before we even delve into anything on this review, I want to give a bit of a shout out and something you need to know about this review. So, this item is available from Coils by Scott. Uh, that's where I have had the item from it was not sent across for the purpose of the review it was not sent across by him I'm just telling you where to get the item from if you don't if you do so wish to buy it so this review is it's impartial it's nothing to do with Scott this review is aimed at the company only please go and check out calls by Scott he makes some amazing coils uh, these are obviously not what I'm using in there but these are some 
0.15 aliens, sorry, 0.19 aliens, these ones are. Wiki coils, go and check them out. TVMP 15 across the site, it'll get you your discounts. And while we are on this subject, let's grab one from here because I can't find the one over there. My channel sponsor is vibevape.com where you can get the cotton used in the video. This is Stella from Coolwick. Use TVMP TVMP 15 across the site there as well. There are three to the range. If you head across to Viber Vape, he allows you to use that discount code on everything, including hardware and sale items. So if an item is 15% off, use TVMP 15. That will give you another 15% off. So as I said, this review, totally impartial to the, the company I brought it from, the shop I brought it from but this review is directed at the company itself. So yep, single coil uh, MTL RTA. Uh, let's start from the top down. Uh, drip tip, there is a chain back what goes on top of this. I haven't put it in, the, it's in the unboxing, but I'm not gonna put it in the review because I've not been using it. Uh, you have an autumn, well, it's even glass, is it? It's autumn, for fuck's sake. It's just autumn. Yeah, we'll go into that in a minute. Uh, bottom airflow which is a bit of a different design so we'll, we'll run into that in a minute so right okay when I do reviews I don't go and look at other reviewers stuff or I try not to watch too many other reviewers now when I saw this and I knew it was on the way I wanted to check out because it says on the box 30 plus airflow configurations so I wanted to check that out in doing so I come across uh, mic vapes uh mf vapes if you don't follow him already head across i'll try and link him down below wicked bloke go and check out his reviews come across uh his review after a few comments online uh now i'm not gonna try i'm gonna try and keep this as impartial as possible it hasn't happened to me but i know he has had it where the autumn has crapped crapped crap well crap cracked right the autumn has cracked and that's why i come out with crap because autumn is crap i don't know why people are still using it uh but yeah it hasn't happened on mine but i've not used any citrus juices so with autumn tanks uh they tend to not handle citrus juices very well at all they tend to crack under any type of pressure uh when it comes to the citrus or acidic juices so it would have been nice to see this company put a glass tank in there so uh, if this does ever get back to the company a hint for you drop a glass tank in there now the configuration side of things so you've got a ball inside where you can turn it's adjust the airflow underneath the coil the airflow comes through the bottom which you've got a choice of adjustments there as well so there probably is 30 plus different ways to get your airflow on this I know I like a very restricted vape, so the way I've set it up, and if you've seen any other reviews or you, you get what I mean down low, uh, I've set it up so the ball inside, the bevel ball inside, is set at uh, one away from the most open. And on the outside, I have got the airflow set to, let's take a look. Yeah, basically the smallest air hole I've got it on. So which is, let me see if I can get that on camera. So as you can see there, the very, very smallest hole, because there's about five or six holes leading around to this. Luckily enough, uh, when I set it up, I haven't had to change it because it's the way I like my MTR vapes. Does the job for me. Uh, but again, if you're new to MTL, is this what you'd want? Because yes, there's a lot of airflow choices, but it's also a pain in the arse to change those airflow choices. From the outside, it's really easy. Just spin the bottom ring, job done. From the inside, you're not gonna be able to get to that because the coil and cotton are in the way. So it'd have to be between or after builds. Uh, yeah, they could have been a better way. Even marking it up, you know, you could have had something on, on the actual deck itself or around the screw to show you roughly what airflow you are using. But now the good sides to it. Uh, the flavours there, it's a, for an MTL, it's a really good flavour. And the thing is with this, uh, the only other MTL tank I have like this is the Kaven. Now, when you're looking at prices, uh, 
when you can pick this up for 20 to 30 quid. And then you've got the Kfun, which is, you know, still knocking close to 100 quid. There's a big price difference. Would I buy this again? Yeah, yeah, I would. Uh, for the thing is, I'm, I'm really enjoying MTLs lately, and it's performance wise, it's not far from the Kfun. And when you're looking at the price difference between the two, you know, it's a big thing. I've been rocking it this week on this, which is the Aegis Max. Uh, it's an amazing 9.5 watts, because that is all you need. I've got in there some uh, MTL Aliens from Cause by Scott, which I believe, have I got some here? There we go, yep, 0.63, around a 2.5 millimeter bit. Coming out at 0.63 ohms, which let's take a look. Cool. 0.62 I've got on no, point, 0.57 probably uh, yep really really cool really good calls I'm really enjoying them so if you're going to grab one of these if you are going to grab one head over to Calls by Scott use TVMP15 you'll get a bit of a discount plus he offers the option to have these loaded now because I was reviewing the item I didn't want it loaded because I wanted to see how well it builds I've heard a lot of people say it's a pain in the arse to build on I don't think it's too bad I really do not think it is too bad at all to build up. Uh, again, MTL coils are very, very finicky, very funny to fit, but compared to other MTL tanks which I've tried, I've got a few about, but I only tend to use the one. Uh, yeah, this, this is one of the easiest. The juiced holes in the top are very large, so quite easy to get your salts in there. Uh, again, if you're using MTL, I tend to use salts in mine. At the moment I've got, uh, how can I put this without getting booted from YouTube? I've got some salt mixed with health juice, uh, if you know what I mean. But yeah, uh, I quite like it personally. I know a lot of people have complained about it. I know a lot of people don't like it. But I'm not too fussed. I have been enjoying it. Uh, drip tip with the autumn top. Yes, it's matchy matchy, but... If you're into autumn, then that's your thing. It's, I really despise this. It looks like frozen piss. But yeah, uh, other than that, it is a cracking little MTL. The flavour is there. The airflow, once you've configured it to the way you want it, is absolutely spot on. Uh, I have dropped it a few times. I've had no issues with the paint coming off at all. As you can see, it looks pretty much brand new, and I've ran this for three weeks and dropped it about 12 times. So, yeah, not an issue at all with that. As I said, my autumn hasn't cracked, but again, I don't tend to use very acidic juices. Uh, I've been rocking... What have I been using this week in that? Uh, there we are. Riot Squad Cherry Menthol, which is quite an easy-going juice. This is from their new line, by the way. Really good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I will buy it again. I... I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, if I could mention anything to the company to change, change that to glass and get some markings on the inside. Other than that, I can't fault it myself. I know I've heard people whinging about it, but it is what it is. It's my view. It's the way it is. So thank you to my channel sponsors who we've already gone through at the start of the video. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm on VapeTube, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Got any questions, drop them down below. If I don't get back to you down there, come and follow me on social media and I'll try my hardest to answer them there. Other than that, thank you for joining and I'll see you on the next one.